Windows 11 is here and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB so that you can get the Windows 11 Pro with refuse and power ISO and this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Over here we do Photoshop tutorials and tech videos like this one. If that's something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So I've been using the Windows 11 for a couple of days now and it has been so far so good. There are some amazing features that has been added to this Windows 11 and I enjoy the beauty and the aesthetics, especially the file arrangement and the fact that you can now download Android apps without the help of Bluestacks makes this a whole new thing now there are some interesting features on the windows 11 let me know in the comment section if you'd want me to cover that but for this video we are going to create the windows 11 bootable usb so that you can get the windows 11 bootable now inside the description of this video i'm going to leave this particular windows 11 iso file so you make sure that you download this iso file first or if you have the iso file you can just skip to the next point of creating the bootable the first software that we are going to use is refuse so we are going to first create the bootable with refuse and then we are going to also try it with power iso so you can download refuse also from the link in the description and once you've downloaded it you go ahead and then you install it and then it is going to open up something like this for you all right so this is refuse 3.17 and it is very simple to use the first thing you need to do is you need to connect a flash drive or a pen drive so at my pc over here you realize that i've connected a flash drive of 30 gig now the iso file that we are going to use when you go to show more and then to properties you are going to realize that it is 3.62 gig so you need a flash drive that is way above 4 gig or if you want to save yourself some time you need 8 gig now after you've connected the flash drive the next thing you do is you go to the boot selection over here and then you go to select now you head over to where you've downloaded the windows 11 iso file so in this case i have mine at the desktop so i'll go ahead and double click on that and then you're going to see the iso file so you left click on it and then you can click on open for the image option you choose the standard windows installation and for the partition scheme you are going to choose according to how your drive is partitioned so if it is mbr you choose mbr and if it is gpt you choose gpt once you are done with it the rest of the things here you're not going to touch it all that you need to do is you go ahead and head over to start so you go ahead and you hit on start and then you are going to receive this prompt to format your drive which you are going to click so you make sure that your drive is the one selected and then you go ahead and you click ok once you click ok it is going to delete the partition and it is going to start right away and just like that you see that it has started creating the windows 11 bootable drive for you this might take some time so all that you need to do at this moment is you wait for the files to be copied so i'm going to see you when all the files are copied one eternity later once all the files are copied your bootable usb is ready and when you go to your file manager over here you realize that your windows 11 bootable drive has been created and that means you can go ahead and use this usb drive or the flash drive to create a windows 11. now let's see how to do this same thing using power iso so you first need to download power iso over here now you're going to right click on it and then you're going to run this as an administrator so we are going to use the trial version over here you continue on trial version and over here you go to tools and you go to create bootable usb drive and then you are going to select your source now the source is the power iso file the iso file that we downloaded or the iso file that you have so you go to image file over here and then we are going to locate the source so desktop windows 11 and then windows 11 pro now the next thing we do is we select the destination usb drive and this is going to be our 32 gig drive so over here it has selected it already now the disadvantage of using power iso is that you are not able to choose whether it is an mbr or a gpt 
so if your drive is for instance an mbr and this creates the usb bootable drive in a gpt it means that you're not going to be able to use it and that is the advantage that refuse has over power iso but from here once you've done everything once you've gotten it you just go ahead and then you click on start and then it is going to copy the files just like it did for refuse and your usb bootable drive should be ready so you go ahead and you click start and then it is going to go over the same process as it did with refuse and then once it is done you are still going to have the same files and setups and then you can go ahead and use this to create your windows 11. now i've been using a windows 11 for quite some days now and all that i can say is that it is just amazing the morphism that they used the aesthetics the beauty the widgets over here it is beautiful and the fact that you can set different desktops at the same time it makes all of this beautiful not talking of this beautiful taskbar that has been set to the center of course you can go back to the left side if you want it the video charts there are so many that has been added to the windows 11 like i said in the beginning of the video if you'd want to see me cover the full features of the windows 11 or at least the updated features in the windows 11 let me know in the comment section as i'll be glad to do that but then that is how to create a usb bootable drive for windows 11 i'll be learning something from this video and if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so pleasing Thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Innocent here and bye.